Hi, I'm Curtis Mugelski with BNETTV.com. I'm here live at Las Vegas at the CTIA conference. I'm here with Paul Callahan from Irvana. Thank you for joining us, Paul. Hey, Curtis. How you doing? Good. How about yourself? Good. Good. Great show. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can you just start off by telling us a bit about what Irvana does? Sure. Irvana is a, a company that was started in 2000, and it's a company about 500 people, uh, most of whom are engineers, very, very focused on innovating in technology. We started. Uh, basically by producing uh, macrocell base stations for some very big customers. Uh, in the end, customers like uh, Sprint and Verizon and delivered about half of their EVDO network through uh, an OEM partner, Nortel. So you never, you hardly ever see our name on the product, but uh, in fact, the product is ours 100% through Nortel. Uh, Nortel is a fantastic partner and has been delivering uh, well over 40,000 base stations to date uh, in the EDBO, EVDO space. But we're really entering a new business and that's what you know our show uh, today is, is uh, highlighting and that's the uh, femtocell business. So many of your you know your listeners may not have heard of femtocells but they're basically small base stations or small access points that, that are essentially like a Wi-Fi access point but for cell phones in your home. Okay and you just use your cellular network to actually um, access the internet through right. your cell phone. So think of it, uh, you know, when you go to buy a cell phone today, you go to the Verizon or the Sprint store or, or T-Mobile, uh, you're going to see that pretty soon, towards the end of the year, a femtocell, a small uh, access point, sitting on the shelf, sold by the same salespeople, that essentially gives you five bars of coverage in your home and great performance on the data side, because you're no longer sharing a large cell site with a hundred people you have your own base station or your own access point right there in the home very low power very safe but very high performance in terms of your coverage and your data performance what kind of range does the um, your product provide typically it, it covers somewhere in the range of 50 50 to 60 meters it'll cover uh, pretty much a whole home okay. uh, with a, you know a single access point can you get like range boosters or anything like that to uh, enhance your the range of uh, coverage? Well, a central cell is in fact kind of a range booster. You, you know, the, the macro cell outside the home mm -hmm. really picks up the coverage. So when you're on a phone call, for example, and you walk out of your house or you get in your car and you drive down the road, it's going to hand off to that macro cell environment seamlessly. Oh, sounds pretty interesting. Um, mm -hmm. So what, what is the cost to the consumer to get one of these femtocells? cells? It's going to be very low cost initially because uh, the operators see so much benefit from putting these access points in people's homes and usually in using essentially a broadband connection in the home mm -hmm. as the backhaul. But I think you're going to see a lot of these early units are going to be subsidized very heavily. For example, there's an offering in the marketplace today uh, from Sprint it only costs forty-nine dollars, though I'm sure Sprint is paying in the range of one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars a unit. So it's going to be like the early introduction of of uh, cell phones in the high end, heavily subsidized by the operators. And in this case, every time an operator adds a femtocell access point to the network, they in fact increase their capacity of the network, lower their backhaul costs, lower their capital costs, and so forth. So. You know, it's it's kind of a it, you know I hate to say this term, but it is definitely a win-win. The the uh, the consumer gets probably a much better calling plan than they would otherwise get. They get fantastic coverage in the home, and they get great performance in the data side. The operator gets very much lower costs on their backhaul. Uh, they get terrific coverage without having to add more equipment to their macro cell network. So both sides kind of win. So I think in, in the end, the cost to the consumer is going to be low. The cost to the operator typically this year is going to be somewhere in the range of 200 euros or you know, uh, $300 US, let's say. And then uh, next year in 09, you're going to see a lot of price pressure. Prices are going to come down for the operators, probably more in the range of 100 euros or 150. Um, US. So in terms of units uh, sold, how many mm -hmm. are you looking for, I guess, 08 and, and 09? What is, what is your company anticipating for a total Well, units? I think for the total market, this year is very much of a trial year. You're going to see towards the end of the year the commercial realization of product and some volume rollouts. But we're in a process right now of going from 
what you would call lab trials with a handful of units mm -hmm. then to small field trials with maybe 10 or 20 or 100 units to larger field trials with maybe 500 or 1,000 and then you know to, to what we would call market trials with 10,000 units and 50,000 units in that range. So by, man, you know, by, the, by the time you get to these market trials, you're really at the end of the year. So I would say overall for the whole industry, you're going to see probably a couple hundred thousand units in both CDMA and UMTS. Uh, and then in 09, you're going to see really, you know, you're going to see millions of units in 09. And, you know, what, what's interesting too about this market is the demand for femto cells is equally strong in CDMA and in UMTS, mm -hmm. and we know that because we're building both. We're actually the only op the only vendor in the marketplace building both a CDMA and a UMTS femto cell. So we're seeing operators from both camps uh, demand you know, very very strong demand. And I got to say, in 25 years in this business, I've never seen such strong demand prior to you know the shipment in volume of products. And it's it, it's very authentic demand because. The, the RFPs out there are absolutely brutal and you get eliminated in a heartbeat if you don't have the features they want. So it's tremendous, uh, tremendous demand from the operator side. I think you're going to see these by the end of the year, you know, in the shops or in the, in the stores that you would traditionally associate with just cell phones only. For sure. No, it sounds like a very cool product. I can totally see why um, cellular providers would definitely want to actually jump on this. and. Yeah, just another you service know, they could provide. To the you know what's really right? funny too. I've I've talked to people about this, and and you know, that in in a kind of unofficial, uh, you know, random survey talking mm -hmm. to friends. I have not talked to a single person who doesn't want one of these right away. You know, you plug it into your your DSL or or your cable uh, connection. It lights up, and ba boom, you're in business. And uh, it, it's fascinating when when you have that kind of very simple. Uh, uh, benefit to, to the customer, everybody wants one, that causes a real market spike. Yeah, for sure. Uh, one final question, do you have any of your uh, product in use here at CTA? Yeah, yeah, very good, very good question. We're actually uh, demonstrating our product with Alcatel Lucent in their booth. We also just recently signed a, a deal with Motorola and it's being demonstrated in their booth. These are both of the CDMA products. Last month we demonstrated, or a month and a half ago, we demonstrated our UMTS product with Thompson in Barcelona. So uh, we've signed up Thompson as you know, the number one DSL Wi-Fi router supplier in Europe who's dropping our femtocell into our femtocell module right into their home gateway. Oh, nice. So we've had some you know, tremendous traction from partnerships and you're going to see more from us because that's what we do. We're really a partnership oriented OEM company. You know, uh, you probably never heard of us to this point, but you're going to see a lot of our products with brands of others on it. Well, it sounds very cool. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks very much. Thank you. This is Curtis with BNetTV.com at the CTIA Wireless Conference in Las Vegas.